Hello, and welcome to CNN. Today we have Jerry Sanchez on site with Laura Lyon Nelson, a telegraph operator. Coming up, we also have our weekly forecast report. Some news on COVID rates that are steadily decreasing. More on that after our break. We're back with Jared on site with Lorelai Nelson. Jared? Thank you, Mayor. First off, Lorelai, what is the main thing people should know about telegraphers? Um, we play a huge part in the evolution of communication. Telegraphs are basically the original version of texting. Wow, you know, my mind can't even comprehend how these telegraphs work. Would you care to explain and show us? Um, in written communication, Morse code uses dots and dashes to represent a limited number of alphabet letters, numbers, punctuation, and special characters of a given message. I'm also curious about the main struggle that telegraphers deal with. Can you tell me more about that? Um, well, there is a possibility that you mess up. This can happen with people who are newer to the operation. Um, if your combination of dots and dashes are not tied perfectly, this can cause a misunderstanding on the receiving end. I've been wondering about why Morse code has dots and dashes. Why not shapes or colors? Dots and dashes are used because they are much easier to translate into sound. Shapes and colors would have to be visual. You might as well be sending a letter. What made you want to learn Morse code? Uh, my great-grandfather was amazing at Morse code. Every time I saw him, he would be doing Morse code. Um, I enjoyed what he did, and it always fascinated me. Oh, fascinating. Are you able to tell us what the first message in Morse code was? Mm -hmm. It was, what hath God wrote? Mm. What was that? Why was, it, what, why was that the message? Um, well, we don't actually know why that was the first message, but we know that this is the message that they tested Morse code with um, on May 24th, uh, 1844. Wow. Thank you for sharing this with us. Well, you heard it, folks, from Lorelai Nelson. Till next, dash, dot, dash, dash, dot. <laughs> I'm Jared Sanchez. And I'm Amir Bryan, signing off from CNN. We'll see you next time.